Hi, I'm Lisa Little, owner and cake designer at Little Bake Shop. I'm here to teach you how to fill a pastry bag. To get started, I just want to talk about my most favorite pastry bags that I like to use. There's three that I use most commonly, one being a parchment bag. That's, I don't have one with me today, but um, they're usually made out of parchment paper or wax paper. Um, you can make it from your home or you can buy it at your local craft store. Um, I will be doing a very quick video very soon on how to make a parchment bag, so if you're interested, make sure you stay tuned. Um, one of my also favorite um, pastry bags I like to use is a disposable one. Sometimes you just don't have time to wash a bag and, or you just want to do some really small or quick details. It's easy, fill it up with frosting, do your work and then just toss it out. <laughs> you know, there's no cleanup. It's super, super fast, super easy. Um, but my number one favorite bag would be um, these reusable bags. Um, you can get them from many different suppliers. They come in all different sizes. This is a 16 inch. Uh, this is a 10 inch. So they come in all different sizes. They're very flexible. Um, you can wash them by hand. You can stick them in the dishwasher. But best of all, you can use them over and over and over again. So today, I'm going to use um, the uh, reusable uh, pastry bag. What you're going to also need is a coupler. This is a coupler. comes with a little screw at the top, so you want to make sure it's undone. You also need a tip and, of course, your frosting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my pastry bag and I'm just going to fold the end like this and drop your coupler small side down into the hole. Now what you want to make sure is that your pastry bag is cut so that it doesn't pass the first line the first ridge on the coupler. Bring it up very close. You want to make sure it doesn't pass this line. The reason is, is that if your cup, if your bag passes this line, the chances are that your frosting is going to end up squeezing through this this bag, um, and it's going to probably spoil your cake. You know, you'll have a big mess, and you just want to avoid it. So make sure that when you cut your pastry bag, that you cut it so that it's not too short. Once you have your, your coupler in there, place your tip on top and close it up with the cap. There you go. Now, fold the bag down so that you create a fold like this. Now, to fill it, make your hand into a shape like a C and place it underneath the bag. This creates a nice large hole for you. We do this so that it keeps your bag clean. You only want the icing inside the bag because if it's on the outside here, chances are it's going to end up coming out, squeezing out of the top, and it's going to—it's just going to create a huge mess. And it's really hard to decorate if you have a messy bag. Now I like using an offset spatula, so take your offset spatula and just put icing on the tip. Put it in your in the hole and press down and squeeze in. That way all the icing just stays inside. Now this is a very big bag that I'm using, so I'm only going to fill it up a little ways. It doesn't really matter the size of your bag. You never want to overfill your bag. I never recommend um, filling a bag anything past halfway full. Um, just because it's it makes it much more harder to control and um, you just don't need that much icing. I mean, as long as you want to make sure you have a clean bag, it's much, e much easier to work with. Once you have your icing inside, straighten out your bag and just push all that icing down into the bag. Push it all down. Get sort of any air. Don't push down too hard because you don't want it coming out of the tip just yet. You just want to push it down. Once you have it down, twist the bag. This will prevent it from coming through and out of the, the bottom of the bag. Twist it through. Now to properly hold a piping bag when you're working, you want to rest the twisted part right here on your hand. Once it's there, squeeze your thumb and your forefinger together and put your hands, the rest of your fingers, wrapped around the fat part of the bag where the icing is. This is your pressure. This is where you squeeze 
uh, when you want to get icing out and when you want to stop the icing from coming. Now go ahead and squeeze the bag just a little bit to get some air out and put it back into your bowl. Now you're ready to start decorating. I hope this, uh, this, this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or, or comments, please feel free uh, to send me an email. My email is info at littlebakeshop.com. Uh, that's L-Y-T-T-L-E, uh, bakeshop.com. And I hope uh, you have a wonderful day. Stay tuned. Thanks so much. Bye now.